Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started this week by addressing the nation and government's interventions to assist teachers. We are very committed to ensuring the life of every Guyanese improves and gets better. We are committed to ensuring that we bring prosperity, we build systems that empower people, that uplift your standards, that give you a better shot at life. That is why we're investing in your education, your health care, giving everyone an opportunity to earn a degree. And I am, you know, I'm very concerned that the political actors in our society, those political actors who are trying to uh, use our teacher, and I'm using this word uh, very frankly, because they are aware, they are aware that we are committed to a plan in which our teachers will be uh, not only prime beneficiary of the development and advancement of our country, but that their position will be comparable to anywhere else in the region. But of course, it takes time. We have announced a series of measures to improve the lives of teachers, nurses, and public servants. And these measures are going to continue even before the end of this year. No one needs to push this government. We are committed to this task. We are coming. I come from a family of more, more than 30 teachers now. No one needs to convince us about uh, doing more for our workers, our farmers, uh, our teachers, our nurses, our doctors. This is a commitment of this government. His Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali received a visit from the first woman of color Deputy Commissioner of the New York Police Department, Tanya Kinsella, at New York Marriott Marquis Hotel. The head of state and Kinsella, who has Guyanese heritage, discussed the potential partnership between the Guyana Police Force and the NYPD. The partnership aims to support the reorganization and transformation of the GPF. On Tuesday, President Ali addressed the United Nations Security Council, UNSC, open debate on the impact of climate change and food insecurity on the maintenance of international peace and security. Some 122 million of those facing acute food insecurity are in countries experiencing conflict. 82% of the total accentuating that conflict is the primary driver of acute food insecurity in Africa. And the same can be said about Haiti. Internal conflict being a key contributor to food insecurity, climate insecurity, that ultimately leads to governance issues. President Ali also spoke extensively on the effects of war and conflict on land degradation, deforestation, food insecurity and climate change and its impact on social costs, among other areas. President Irfan Ali held bilateral talks with the President of the Dominican Republic, His Excellency Luis Abinader, at the United Nations headquarters in Manhattan, New York. Discussions focused on expanding and enhancing the current bilateral partnership between the two countries regarding enhancing private sector collaboration. On Tuesday evening, the president hosted a reception at the TWA Hotel in New York in honor of Guyana assumed presidency of the United Nations Security Council for the month of February. His Excellency received a courtesy visit from the permanent representative of the United States of America to United Nations Ambassador Linda Thomas Greenfield at the UN headquarters. Discussions focused on enhancing and expanding the relationship between Guyana and the U.S. Ambassador Thomas Greenfield expressed her country's unwavering support to Guyana, especially as it relates to defending its territorial integrity. His Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali met with the Director General of the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, Beth Bechdahl. During the meeting, President Ali informed Bechdahl of Guyana's expansive and robust development of the agriculture sector, especially its focus on leveraging technology prioritizing women and youths. On Wednesday, the head of state emphasized the salience of fasting for Lent. On behalf of the government of Guyana, I want to take this opportunity to wish all Guyanese, especially our Christian brothers and sisters, a Lent period in which there will be reflections. Reflection with an aim, 
and improving ourselves. Reflection, understanding, the importance of sacrifices and the greatest sacrifices that were made. Greatest sacrifice that was made to give us the gift of life. Let this period of Lent be a period of renewal, a period in which we dig deep and we fix our brokenness, in which we support the building of a stronger society. Dr. Irfan Ali received the letters of credence from the Turkish non-resident ambassador and plenipotentiary to Guyana at the simple ceremony on Thursday. The head of state called for enhanced bilateral cooperation between the two countries while indicating his desire for the Republic to support the building of the manufacturing sector in Guyana. On Thursday afternoon, President Ali met with the Deputy Managing Director of the Intermonetary Fund, IMF, Kenji Okamura, and his delegation president. During his trip to New York, President Irfan Ali spoke to six-time Emmy Award-winning television producer Arik Wersen of Newsweek, where he highlighted Guyana's role in climate and energy security. When you look at the size of the market that we have access to, then you understand how a small populated country, but with huge land mass, can play a more integral role in the key areas of concern for the global community and the regional community. And what are these areas? Climate and environment. His Excellency President Irfan Ali met with an executive team from the Guyana Gold and Diamond Miners Association on Friday evening. Discussions focused on the development of the mining industry, especially measures aimed at increasing production and productivity across the sector. The head of state led a cleanup and beautification exercise at Houston and surrounding communities on the east bank of Demerara on Saturday morning. The president, through his Men on Mission program, MOM, joined hundreds of volunteers in cleaning the roads, parapets and drains, and painting and beautifying the median along the highway. This was the president's diary where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next time.